there and write our murder ballads so that we don't leave it all to the nightly news. Where in Atlanta, it's just one murder after the next. With, you guessed it, any type of gun people can find. Uh, but there was a truly terrible event in the southeastern United States in 1994. And I felt like perhaps it um, was especially made for somebody like me to write about. The 23-year-old woman in a small town in South Carolina, desperately in love with a man who would not be with her because he did not want children from another man. And she had two young boys. And uh, she uh, received a letter from him saying that and that very night. The terrible event happened. And she immediately uh, blamed uh, a black man for kidnapping her children and went on a nine-day nationwide crusade to find her children. All the while, of course, she knew that they were dead. And the day that she was on national television asking for everyone in the United States to search for her children, that very same day in the afternoon, she confessed at the First Baptist Church of Union, South Carolina, to the sheriff that she had indeed killed her children. And when Susan Smith was in prison awaiting trial, she wore a paper gown so that uh, she could not harm herself. Uh, before the sentence was made. And the image of paper gowns and what she m must have hoped for uh, and debutante gowns and prom dresses and even the paper dolls that uh, little girls play with, all these images really haunted me. And so this song is called Paper Gown. Thank you. 